Hi, welcome to Hit the Bricks. We've got Remox, Mox, reviews of both official and non-official LEGO sets weekly, and a brand new LEGO City. Today, we've got a remock of Apple Treehouse 5891, I believe from 2010. We'll be taking a look at this side by side. What I wanted to accomplish with this remock was not only to give it a larger presence that I think fits in a little bit better with some of the modular buildings and larger buildings that they have now, but also to do an interior detail, which if you know this original kit, there wasn't much of an interior at all to it. We're, we'll take a look at it, that later on, but really doesn't have much room in it at all. You actually share half the house with a garage, which I don't think is really good for anybody's health. <laughs> so let's first take a look at this one inside the Lego City, and then we'll come back and take a look at the inside. So here's an overview. You can see I have pretty much just two streets right now. I've got a little bit of a hill going up there that work on that elevation. There's the Apple Tree House, a remock, kind of in the center. Not sure if it's gonna stay like that. I'm not sure if anything's gonna stay the way it is. These are actually just temporary tables. I'm waiting for three IKEA tables to come in, taking longer to get here because of the coronavirus. The, here is the uh, original Apple Tree House on this one row of houses. These are all the ones that are being made in the Remox, including that last one coming up here. That's a 4886. There is a video of that out there already. So anyways, that's an overview for you. Um, happy to hear any suggestions, comments, good or bad, that you, you have on that if you want to leave some down below. Because uh, I'm starting from scratch and one of the reasons why I'm sharing it is so I can learn as well. So feel free to leave some comments, that'd be great. So if we take a look at the exterior here, it's obvious the first thing is it's sitting up higher. I've got the sloped driveway. Uh, like I said, that's uh, they have all the elevation in town. They have a modular type design, especially with the road systems that will um, lock into the the buildings and such on, on their platforms. I wanted to, like I said, keep the the feel of the Apple Tree House. It, it's got the same colors. It's got the same feel. You can see that I kept the the front uh, steps the same color, kind of the same design there. Uh, I kept the basketball hoop, but I took it off of that stand and put it on the garage just because of having all the sloped elevation. There isn't really a good spot to play basketball like there was on the, uh, on the original one. So I put it on the garage, which I thought was kind of interesting anyways. The house is longer. It's the same depth other than the garage, but it is the same depth. But it is, it's, it's longer and has those two dormers. I did change out the features, the bricks on the chimney itself, put the, the newer masonry bricks. I don't know if those were really available in 2010. I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they were. But I like them, so I added them on there. If we go off to the side, I kept the, the little pathway that they had going to the front of the original one. Since I've got the, the whole driveway sloped down going to the sidewalk I decided to spin that around to the side and have that kind of go down around the elevation past the the actual apple tree that I kept. I thought it was essential to keep the apple tree for the apple tree house. That would make sense. Obviously added a bunch of trees and flowers to it because it's a larger base. It's one thing that I want in my my town as well as lots of vegetation. That's just something I prefer so I'm building trees, adding these these actual um, pre-made Lego trees, just, just a combination of, of both. In the back I added the extra skylight to go along with the extra dormer in front. Got the two windows in the back, the original one didn't have the windows. These are brown windows, I did not have any more tan windows. So it is what it is, I used the brown, I think it looks just fine. Maybe I'll replace them with tan when I get them, maybe not. You can see the windows for the partially exposed basement. Obviously the basement looks taller here when we looked at it in town. Some of that's covered up with the, the grass and in elevation, but here you can really see it uh, in detail. Spinning around on the side, I did add uh, another window there. And of course the garage then is jetting out in front in that L shape design. So that gives a, an overview of, of what happened there on the outside. So let's take a look at the inside now. The, Inside of the original one is pretty small, though it's interesting because it has that loft area in there. I like that, uh, and I like the little little stairs that they had going up to it, a little ladder maybe. thought that was really interesting, so 
as you can see with mine, I, I kept that same same design. I wanted to keep that. I did add the bed up on the loft. Got a small kitchen. Uh, it's still pretty cramped in there, so I wasn't able to add all the detail I wanted to, but at least there's something. Uh, and this top roof part does come off by itself. It, and then we can take the roof off of the garage and the family room, living room area as well. So if we do that, which we can't do in the original one, that is just stays on there. But it does on the remock. So you can see I got the living room, added a fish tank, added uh, some electronics there, a TV, some surround sound, and a rug. Just, just the basics that I could fit into the, the living room. Off to the side you can see I have, it's kind of a trap door uh, to go down in the basement. I wanted to keep the same theme as that that ladder going upstairs. I kind of wanted to have the ladder type matching going downstairs. It is a lack of room, so it worked <laughs> worked pretty well for that. Anyways, the garage uh, the garage is pretty pretty shallow. I don't think you're gonna fit uh, much of a car in there at all. Uh, but I did what I could. I didn't want to get. I just didn't want to go over the top with how big the structure got. I wanted to keep it under control. Uh, so it doesn't look like a, a mansion compared to other houses. So I kept the garage kind of small, but I liked it. I'm happy how that, that turned out. It can be used as storage. You got a bike and other supplies in there. Uh, speaking of storage, let's go down in the basement so you can see that. Now I can pop off this part of the house by itself. We can see there is storage. You can see the ladder stairs going down in there. I can also take off the other part now individually. And now you can see some, I've got some pipes down there, I've got the washer and dryer, and then that water, uh, kind of a spigot or, or faucet that counterpoints to the one in the outside there. So I just thought it'd be interesting to, to add the, the basement since I was adding the elevation anyways. Gives it a different look. A really good time doing this set. So it's encouraging, uh, it just makes me want to do more. I, I really plan to to do remocks or original mocks as much as I can in my city. That's not saying I'm never gonna use any official Lego sets, because I will. I have some you probably saw in the footage of the residential area. I've got the original sets of all the ones that I'm doing for the for the remocks. They're in there as placeholders right now until I get other buildings in there, but I don't wanna have nothing. I wanted to be, it's kind of fun to set it up and see what it would look like and kind of design it out. Uh, so that's why those are in there, but hopefully those will all be replaced. I do have a list of uh, building kits that I already have that I want to do, including a couple gas stations. Uh, one's part of the anniversary set that had the retro gas station, movie theater, and I think it was town hall. I want to do all those, remock all those and put them in my city because I really enjoyed that set. I also have a newer Octane gas station that I want to, to remock as well. Um, and a list of other other ones. So I'm gonna be starting with the houses. I've got maybe three or four houses. You saw that one in the town that's got the basement. Um, that one's gonna be probably one of my next ones coming out. So I wanna do the houses first so everybody's got a place to live. <laughs> and then I will do the commercial buildings and kind of go from there. So that's what's coming up. So once again, if that's interesting and you want to um, come along and see that progress, you can hit the subscribe button. So with that, I think I am going to hit the bricks and work on the town. So we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.